Hi, I'm Kathleen Kastner. Welcome to Vegan Vitality. Today, my special guest is my stepdaughter, Kaya, who just turned 14. <laughs> so we're going to make a vegan pizza, and this is one of the easiest recipes you could do. And a lot of people think, once they go vegan, what are they going to do? They can't have pizza, but you can, and we're going to show you how. So the first thing I want to show you is Mama Mary's pizza crust which can be found just at the regular grocery store, not even the health food store. Like in San Diego, I get it at Vons. When I lived in Kansas City, I got it at Sunfresh. So it doesn't say vegan on it, but if you read the ingredients, there's no dairy and there's no casein, which is a protein found in milk. Okay, so this is the large. They have thin and thick. Sometimes, they're not always both there available. And they also have minis and they have gluten-free, which is fantastic because I'm gluten-free, my family is not. So they have little ones in gluten-free and regular, and they also have big ones in gluten-free. So Mama Mary's, if you can't find it, you can order it online, all right? Because I don't want to make my own pizza crust. I don't even want to cook that much, okay? And then for pasta sauce, you can just use your favorite, basically, spaghetti sauce. And this is an organic brand, Bertoli, found at Costco. But you can just use whatever you like to put on your regular pasta. Just make sure you read the ingredients in the back again that there's no milk and no casein, no dairy products, no animal products at all. So we already spread out our pasta sauce on the crust and you just want to do a thin layer so that it doesn't ooze out when it cooks and it doesn't make it soggy. So you don't need a ton of sauce, all right? And then you can pick your favorite vegetables. For us, we picked broccoli and what's your favorite? Mine's the yellow green pepper. I mean yellow bell peppers yes so she loves the bell, yellow bell peppers and they are great raw just to snack on so we have yellow and orange bell peppers and then some purple onion so you can see we have all these beautiful colors and that's the great thing about a plant-based diet you get a variety of color because if you think about it dairy and meat is usually just dark or white there's not this rainbow of beautiful color and phytonutrients. So we're gonna go ahead and start. We chopped everything up just to save time. And we're gonna start with the bigger items first. So we're gonna do our broccoli. And Kaya loves mushrooms, but unfortunately, I don't have any mushrooms. But you can just pick whatever you like. And again, try to find as many colors as possible, the colors of the rainbow. So you're getting all kinds of different vitamins from your plant-based pizza. Okay, so Kaya and I are having the little ones. This big one's for my husband and his son, Caden. Okay, so you can just have fun with it. You can have your family members join you like we're doing. And then just grab handfuls of these peppers and spread it all out. So it's like a salad, a salad on your pizza. Some other things you could do if you like fresh garlic, you could add fresh garlic. I like to add just a little garlic salt to give it extra flavor. And if you're still in love with cheese, there is a vegan shredded cheese by Daya, D-A-Y-A, that you could use to help you transition. Just keep in mind, it, it does have a lot of oil, so it has more fat in it, and you, but you could just use a little bit. And there's also vegan Parmesan that you can find. That would be in the health food store. Okay, so are these looking pretty good? We're gonna add some purple onions for a little garnish on top. Hopefully, I think these look delicious. <laughs> and we are going to bake them at 425 for seven to 10 minutes on the rack. You don't need a tray. And they're gonna be ready to go and they're gonna look a lot like this. So we hope you've enjoyed this and we hope you'll try the vegan pizza. So thanks for joining us and thanks for saving animals with your food choices.